Douglas Bach makes extraordinary contributions to the promotion of engineering as a profession and has achieved distinction in its practice. Whether the projects were large, small, straightforward, or challenging, Doug enjoyed each one. His positive outlook has brought him many friends among his colleagues and clients, and students he has mentored as engineers in training or met through school events. As senior structural engineer in Truro, Doug brought a unique combination of technical expertise and engineering services to his clients. In 2012, he helped establish the Truro-based PDI Engineering Group Incorporated. His most prominent project, the restoration and conversion of the historic Truro Library, received honorable mention in the Lieutenant Governor's 2018 Award for Excellence in Engineering. Doug is deeply involved in his profession and his community. A longtime member of Tech Nova, formerly Skettens, Doug was president in 1987 and continues to serve as chairman of the certification board. Also a long-standing member of Engineers Nova Scotia, he served on council from 2010 to 2012. Interacting with engineers in training and students at all levels brings Doug the most joy. For several years, he judged the Colchester County Regional Science Fair Appens Award. During many National Engineering Months, he judged the high school egg drop competitions. Doug has made engineering presentations to schools and to the Dalhousie Agricultural Engineering Campus. In 2014, he was made a Fellow of Engineers Canada. For his long time and continued dedication to Engineers Nova Scotia, Douglas Bach is the 2020 recipient of the J.D. Fraser Award. I'm truly honoured to be the recipient of the 2020 J.D. Fraser Service Award. I took the scenic route on the road to becoming an engineer. I started working as a technologist and for a number of years took part-time engineering courses at the Agricultural College in Truro. Once I did the math on the part-time route, I realised I'd be about 106 years old when I finished, so I enrolled in full-time courses at Tons for two years. That and a few scary examinations written in a small room at the APENS office enabled me to qualify for registration under the internal assessment program that was offered at the time. I'm really proud to be an engineer and I'm proud of the engineering profession in general. When the Engineers Nova Scotia AGM isn't virtual as it is this year, it's always interesting to me to look around the room, overhear some of the conversations and realize that most of the engineers in attendance are pretty happy with their choice of profession. They're engaged with their jobs and they love what they do. I suspect most other professions envy the pure enjoyment and great satisfaction that engineers get from their work. Thank you to the awards committee. This award really does mean a lot to me.